Sing to the Lord the song of praise. Worship the Lord with a joyful heart. Come before Him with happy song. Sing Him your song. Give Him your love. Never forget that the Lord is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are the people of His love. Sing Him your song. Give Him your love. Sing to the Lord the song of praise. Worship the Lord with a joyful heart. Come before Him with happy songs. Sing Him your song. Give Him your love. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us acknowledge that we are sinful and that we are in need of God's mercy and compassion. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Those you saved in your love 
love at your feet. Glory to God and peace to man. Glory to God and peace to man. Spirit, we sing to your name. Let give me holy are you. Gather all nations of the world into your love. Send us your power, make us new. Put out your joy in our hearts. Grant us your life to declare Jesus the Lord. Glory to God. And peace to Let us pray, Almighty, our living God, who consecrated the first fruits of your apostles by the blood of Saint James. Grant, we pray, that your church may be strengthened by his confession of faith and constantly sustained by his protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We are the only earthenware jars that hold this treasure. To make it clear that such an overwhelming power comes from God and not from us. We are in difficulties on all sides but never cornered. We see no answer to our problems, but never despair. We have been persecuted, but never deserted. Knocked down, but never killed. Always, wherever we may be. We carry with us in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus too may always be seen in our body. Indeed, while we are still alive, we are constant to our death every day for the sake of Jesus, so that in our mortal flesh, the life of Jesus too may be openly shown. So death is at work in us, but life in you. But as we have the same spirit of faith that is mentioned in scripture, I believed and therefore I spoke. We too believe, and therefore we too speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus to life will raise us with Jesus in our turn and put us by his side and you with us. You see, all this is for your benefit so that the more grace is multiplied among people, the more thanksgiving there will be to the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Sam, your response shall be, those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter on our lips, there were songs. Your response? Those who are singing in ears will sing when they reap. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Your response? Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Your response? Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out, full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back, full of song, carrying their sheaves. 
Your response? Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, come before him with singing. Blessed be the God of Israel, we are the children of the King. Come sing Alleluia, come sing Alleluia, come sing Alleluia, come sing Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of the sons of Zebedee came with them to make a request of him and bowed low, and he said to her, What is it you want? She said to him, Promise that these two sons of mine may sit one at your right hand and the other at your left in your kingdom. You do not know what you are asking, Jesus answered. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They replied, we can. Very well, he said. You shall drink my cup, but as for seats at my right hand and my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted to my, by my father. When the other ten heard this, they were indignant with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that among the pagans, the rulers lord it over them, and their great men make their authority felt. This is not to happen among you, no. Anyone who wants to be great among you must be your servant, and anyone who wants to be first among you must be your slave, just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I have come from Rome representing our order to make a canonical visitation of the discalced Carmelites of Karnataka Goa province. I have begun my journey long back on the 1st of July and it continues until the end of August. So I have two months of hectic traveling, visiting our fathers and sisters all over these states. And uh, I'm here from last three, four days. And I have a great joy visiting our fathers here and uh, seeing in person what they are doing here. We are called Carmelites religious family in the church like Jesuits, like Salatians, like other religious people. We are also a religious family in the church that seek the experience of God through continual practice of prayer. So the goal of Carmelite religious family is to seek the experience of God as Prophet Elijah experienced God in the caves of Mount Horeb as centuries of Avila and Saint John of the Cross have experienced God through continual practice of prayer. So that's the goal of our life, to experience God there, inside, and then come out to this church 
to share with you about this experience to to also lead you to this experience that's our apostolate our work as carmelites in the church we are a family that seek the experience of god and that shares with others what this experience means and how to reach this experience and i have found this in the whole province of karnataka goa the very serious about their life and their activities are mostly directed towards helping people to pray and lead them to a deeper experience of god so i have a great appreciation for the whole province and in particular to this community really appreciate what they are here and what they are doing here and all that they are doing for you helping you to reach god helping you to experience god i wish them all the best and thanks to you all my dear brothers and sisters for the all, all the collaboration and the affection you show towards our fathers that is the preamble introductory words now let's reflect for a while about the word of god this evening every time we read a passage of the scripture the first question we must ask ourselves is this what is the meaning of this text and what does it mean to me today what is its message for me it's not enough that you understand this text this is not written for our information or for our knowledge this is written for our transformation for our lives so every time you go back from the church you must carry with you a message for your lives let's see what god wants to tell us this evening today's first reading is taken from letter of saint paul to the corinthians very comforting message really comforting message saint paul says we are only the earthenware jars that hold this treasure to make it clear that such an overwhelming power comes from god and not from us we are in difficulties on all sides we are in difficulties on all sides but never cornered we see no answer to our problems but never despair we have been persecuted but never deserted knocked down but never killed this was the experience of apostle paul as a human being as human beings we are knocked down in all the ways we are attacked from all the corners difficulties of life trials and tribulations tears confusions doubts conflicts sickness death what not we are being battered from all around in our life's journey but saint paul says we are knocked down but we are not killed because there is an inner power within us because we are only earth and jars we are clay pots easily can be broken a pot can be broken easily but inside this pot there is a great treasure within us there lives the living god the mighty god he will never allow us to be knocked down or to be killed to be cornered there are difficulties in life there are problems in life lot of sickness lot of lots of conflicts in life but remember that there is an inner power within you there is someone who is dwelling within you and he will never let you down he will never allow you to die brothers and sisters remember you are not alone there is someone mightier and stronger than the whole world who is dwelling within you have faith in him if you believe that jesus is in you you can conquer the world you will not care any sickness god does not promise that our lives will be all joyful 
that our lives will be without any difficulties and uh, tears and sorrows. No. Everything is part of life. We are only clay pots. They will be broken. But within that jar, there is a mighty God who protects us. Believe this. That's a beautiful message in the first reading. Gospel is from the, from the Gospel of Matthew. Because today is the feast of St. James, the Apostle. He's the brother of John, the first disciples to be called by Jesus. John and James, they were fishing along with Peter and Jesus calls them to be his disciples. When Jesus went to Mount Tabor, where he was transfigured, there were three disciples, James, John, and Peter. When Jesus went to pray in the Garden of Gethsemane, he took three of the disciples. Who were they? John? Yes. They were most of the time sleeping there. And James is the first martyr. He was killed around the year 44 after the death of Jesus. So today we are celebrating the Feast of this Apostle and we read a beautiful passage from the Gospel. That is, the mother of James is coming to Jesus and asking him, Jesus, we believe that you are going towards Jerusalem. You are going towards Jerusalem to establish your kingdom, to become a king. So my sons are following you because you will win. You will win over the Romans. You will defeat the Romans and you will establish your kingdom in Jerusalem. That is why my sons are following you. So when you become king, please don't forget, keep one son on your right, another son on your left. You understood? Mother is recommending asking Jesus for good positions for her children. If one of you brings your, uh, your son and tell Father Superior, Father, I want to join him to the Carmelites, but be sure, make him provincial. How would it look? That's what the mother of, Je mother of John and James was telling to Jesus. And in another occasion, these two men, John and James, come to Jesus and tell him, Jesus, when you reach Jerusalem, don't forget me and my brother. I want to sit on the right and my brother should be on your left. And immediately, if you have observed, the other disciples were angry with them because Peter thought he will be on the right. The other disciples were expecting to be on his left. And here comes a lady and trying to recommend. Now you see in the government, you can see how the ministers are getting their positions, all recommendations. Everyone wants to be on the left and right. But Jesus tells them, it's not in my hands. Now, what I want to say is this. These two disciples followed Jesus. The other day Jesus said, come, follow me. They left everything and followed. But they had the desire to become greatest. Most of the time these disciples, whether it be Peter or John or James, their, motiv their motivations were impure. They did not follow Jesus because he is Messiah, he is the son of God. They followed Jesus thinking that he will become the king and they can become rich, they can become powerful. That's why most of the time they were discussing on their journey who will be the greatest when they reach Jerusalem. Am I right? Most of the time they were discussing about who will be the greatest in the kingdom. So, they followed Jesus with wrong motivations. They want to benefit from Jesus. After the death of Jesus, if you remember, there is a passage in chapter 24 of Luke where two of the disciples, after the death of Jesus, were disheartened, disappointed because Jesus did not fulfill their desires. Jesus did not fulfill their aspirations. We thought he would become a king. 
but finally look at him he died on the cross so we are going back to the to our homes we feel that we have wasted our three years that's what those two disciples walking towards emmaus were saying they were disappointed now the message for us is this today you also come to god i also go to god for our benefits we want always something from god if he doesn't give you you are disappointed are you often yes why so many people are coming to infant jesus do you think they are in love with infant jesus they are coming to him they expect that infant jesus will give something to them they expect that they want to bribe him they want to you know jesus my mother is sick please heal him jesus so all requests but what did we learn in the first reading we are clay pots and pots must be broken our life is filled with difficulties and sufferings don't expect it to be removed to be cleared from all these sufferings of daily lives but come to jesus and ask him to accompany you jesus i know that i will have difficulties in my life i know that i will have sicknesses doesn't matter as long as you are in me in my pot in my life i can confront any difficulty that is what you should pray when you come to this church don't get disappointed don't think that jesus will give you everything that you ask he will give only what he wants and what is best for you do you know what is best for you no so therefore trust in him and he will always give you the best in lives except whatever he gives because he accompanies you in your life's journey and he will strengthen you when you are weak he will give you back your lost hopes when you are disappointed he will bring you back your joys when you are sorrowful so with that trust you must come to this church and may god bless you all Let us pray my dear brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept Lord the offerings presented in commemoration of Saint Cleanse us Lord by the saving baptism of your son's passion so that on the feast of Saint James whom you willed to be the first among the apostles to drink of Christ's chalice of suffering we may offer a sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord amen the lord be with you and, and with your spirit lift up your hearts we we'll lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through jesus christ our lord for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching therefore now and for ages unending with all the hosts of angels we sing to you with all our hearts crying out as we acclaim holy 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord the God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Peter Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your peace. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Apostles Saint James, and all the Saints, Saint Teresa, Saint John of the Cross, Saint Therese, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
that we might always experience God's presence in our life's journey. Let us pray to God with the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only this is your word, and my soul shall be healed. Sweep away my pain Bring your healing to my heart 
us, O Lord, we pray, through the intercession of the blessed Apostle James, on whose feast day we have received with joy your holy gifts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Navina prayer to the infant Jesus of Prague. To be with the children of men is my happiness, says the Lord. Jesus lived among the people as a friend and helped them in their needs. He healed everyone who had faith in him and came to be known as a spiritual physician. He are represented as a child. He stretches out his helping hand to all those who have recourse to him. The more you honor me, the more will I bless you, says the infant Jesus. Let us pray in silence for all our intentions. O holy infant Jesus, through your life on earth, you revealed to us by many marvelous your hidden power. So now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions who call upon you in faith and trust. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. And the word became flesh. And dwelt among us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. And the word became flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. And the word became flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And and the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O infant Jesus, bless, bless us, us and, and hear our prayers. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O infant and Jesus, Jesus, bless, bless us, us and, and hear our prayers. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O infant, infant Jesus, Jesus, bless, bless us, us and, and hear our, our prayers. Prayer to infant Jesus. O miraculous infant Jesus, look upon us as we turn to you, imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties. Let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications, and grant us the favor which we ardently implore you. Free us from all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes. Give us your support and consolation. 
good health and happiness so that we may praise you the father and the holy spirit now and forever amen thanksgiving for the favors we have received o most generous infant jesus we on our knees before you have come to express deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands we believe jesus that together with the father and the holy spirit you are our creator and savior henceforth we place all our trust in you through this miraculous statue may your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain they by untold divine blessings and favors all praise and honor be to the infant jesus Amen. bow your heads and pray for god's blessings may the lord Je may the lord jesus be with you to defend you may he be with you to sustain you may he go before you to show you the way may he follow you to guard you from above may he bless you with the father and the holy spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever amen like a brightly shining star you call us from afar to your order your own order loving mother like a brightly shining star you call us from afar to your order your own order loving mother come as inspiration o mary come as inspiration o mary a joy and admiration to you our deep devotion o gentle loving caring mother mary come as inspiration o mary come as inspiration o mary a joy and admiration to you our deep devotion o gentle loving caring mother mary along with your loving son bless all the every every fun by the sign of the cross the lord, lord all our enemies, enemies in the name of the, the father, father and, and the son and, and the holy spirit, spirit. Amen. amen 